guys, today in Art Club with Miss Burford we'll be making watercolour printfish. You will need an A4 printout of three to six fish on a sheet, a sheet of polystyrene, a sheet of A4 watercolour paper, some water, some paint brushes, watercolour paint, a pencil, black poster or acrylic paint depending on which age range you're working with, a biro, a lino roller and some sellotape. The prep for this lesson is super quick, literally takes five minutes. Go onto Google, search for fish printout and you'll get a variety of fish layouts. I went for this one and you just need one per child. Start by covering your sheet of A4 watercolour paper with water. However, you definitely need a bigger paintbrush than me. I don't own any big paintbrushes, so the bigger the paintbrush, the quicker you'll get this done. Then when your page is saturated in water, you'll want to add blue, green and purple uh, watercolour paints to your sheet of paper. Hopefully yours will have enough water on, you'll be able to see by the video that because I used a small paintbrush, my paper had actually dried a bit in some of the corners. So that's why it didn't blend so well. If you want a tutorial on blending watercolours uh, for underwater scenes like this, then I will link it up above. Even though my watercolour background didn't turn out as good as it has done in previous attempts, um, this one was still workable and it actually looked a lot better when it dried. So just try not to use too much water, otherwise you'll get a big blob of water on your picture. And the tip is use a bigger paintbrush um, to get your background wet first. You can put your watercolour background aside to dry for now and you can start working on your fish template picture. So this is a great place to experiment with line and pattern. You want each fish to have different patterns on it. So you could do cross hatching, hearts, stars, um, squares, geometric shapes. You can really play around and just have fun with it really. I even did a leaf star one at the bottom, just because I felt like it. Then attach the fish sheet onto a sheet of polystyrene at the top and the bottom so it's secured in place with tape. And using a biro pen, carefully go over the outline and the pattern of the fish. Um, try not to go too hard on this, otherwise you'll really break the polystyrene. But then you also don't want to go too light so that it actually creates an indentation into the polystyrene. So it might be worth practicing this on a scrap piece of polystyrene first of all. This is the most time consuming part of the project, but it's worth spending time on this and getting the pressure right. If you press too hard, it's going to go through the polystyrene and you're going to have to get a new sheet to start again. And if you do it too light all the way over and you've spent that time drawing over it, when you take the piece of paper away, you'll have wasted your time. As you can see, when I pull the piece of paper away, only do this once you've finished everything because you won't be able to line it back up again. Um, you can see that there's indentations in the polystyrene. So now you're just going to go over this again with your biro so that you can see either a black or a blue, whatever colour biro you have, um, that colour outline all the way around your fish. Next step is to paint your fish individually and just be careful you work within the outline. So you're going to do this with either black poster paint or acrylic paint depending on what year group you're working with. Try and be as neat as possible and don't overload your brush otherwise this can um, distort your detail on the fish when you come to print it. Touch up any bits that you've missed and then in this time that you've been painting your polystyrene and you've been drawing on your polystyrene your watercolour sheet should have dried so now you can move on to the next step which is flipping over your polystyrene sheet, lining it up with the edge of your watercolour paper, pressing firmly down when you've lined it up and then going over it with your lino roller just so it transfers your pattern. 
If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more art lessons like this on a Monday and other art related content every other Thursday. See you next week for more art with Miss Burford.